All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of November the 14th, 2022. Brian here and Michaela is back from her trip to the ocean. Uh, how was it, Michaela? You made it back safe and sound. There was it, some some hurricane risks, but, you know, I'm beginning to think I'm a little cursed. Uh, and I, 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 I'm I'm being lied about this. Uh, we obviously our thoughts and our hearts are with everybody who's been affected by uh, this latest hurricane. Um I've been through a few of these and I feel like every time I move or go on vacation, there happens to be a hurricane that's following me around. This was no exception. We get to the middle of the ocean just in time for like a category three to like go right over us. Um, it was it was rocky. Uh, C Royal Caribbean was the cruise and they took very good care of us and we were out of harm's way. But I will say the boat was a rocking and I was not nearly as um, prepared for that as I probably could have been. Um, yeah. Didn't bring the drama mean because I thought, it'll be fine. I mean, it's it's basically an entire tower hotel on the water. And I didn't mm. realize like the gravity of that until I was on it for more than 24 hours without the ability to get off unless, uh, you know, I jump overboard, which is not a good thing. So um, I, I'll tell you what helped. I drank a lot of fun drinks on this boat and we're going to talk a lot about them in the future lobby bars because some of them were epically good uh, that I had mm. never had or heard before. So that's really fun. Um, yeah, but uh, we survived the hurricane. We did some snorkeling at our excursion. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got back in one piece. Um, they even had a movie theater on on the boat. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. The kids I was with, uh, I was with a very good friend and her kids, they all went and saw uh, Top Gun Maverick for the 37th time. So that was really cool. Mm. It is amazing. Um, I don't know yeah. if I'm a cruise person, but it was a, it was it was a good time. Yeah, there you go. Uh, anytime you get to see Top Gun uh, at sea, right? you can pretend you can pretend you were on an aircraft carrier. Uh, that's good. And yeah, definitely mm -hmm. looking forward to hearing uh, more about your uh, drinks. This is the first time you and I have uh, spoken since you got back. So uh, yeah, we were definitely uh, want to send our mm -hmm. our uh, you know best wishes to those that were impacted by the hurricane. I was you know very concerned for uh, you and your family when uh, it dawned on me later in the week that oh yeah, you were on a boat in the middle of the ocean uh, during all this because you know I was spending my week also watching movies, drinking some drinks, uh, having a, having a good time, having having a nice relaxing you know week, just catching up on some stuff, watching some TV and things like that. But one of the things I did do was I mixed up a cocktail. Um, now if you're uh, on our Discord server, you might have seen this because I posted it there and then I posted it over the uh, weekend um, as well on our all of our social medias. But a uh, recipe got shared and I wanted to recreate it. Uh, it is a strawberry whiskey sour. It is delicious. Um, and yeah, it's really simple to throw together. Now, I based this off of our uh, kind of fancier take on the whiskey sour back from way back in episode 16. Uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, we did a whiskey sour flight uh, and it was delicious. And I took the best one of those and I just made a little riff on it to get some strawberries in there, uh, changed up the whiskey. But uh, here it is for everyone. It is one and a half ounces of rye whiskey, uh, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup, an egg white, and then three strawberries. I just, you know, cut the tops, the stems off of those, muddled those up, put all the ingredients in, gave it a nice dry shake, added some ice, shook it again, and then I double strained that um, into a coupe glass. You get the nice kind of foam layer. Uh, you can garnish that with a cherry, which is what I did. You can garnish it with a strawberry, uh, however you want to do it. But really delicious, really nice little, like I said, riff on that whiskey sour. Um, it's very excellent. And honey syrup is a good thing to have around. You can use it for a lot of different cocktails. Um, I do mine in a two parts honey to one part water. Uh, mixture, but you could do that one to one. It just depends on how much honey flavor you want. So uh, play around with that. Give it a try. Take a look at the pictures and, you know, come join us on Discord because it's a lot of fun and we share fun recipes like that. So make sure you come do that. And what else was everyone doing, Michaela? We're not doing it until tonight. We are on our way into the lobby bar as we speak to see Black Panther Wakanda forever. Yes. And we're maybe the last people. I don't know. I feel like we were the last ones to see it. Uh, thank you. To uh, those of us who are friends with us on social media, thanks for, if you saw it, uh, not spoiling it for us because mm. that's not cool. Um, there is a giant group of people who watch this film and they're very excited and I'm really excited that they're excited. But don't tell us how it ends because uh, and now we're going in, so going in the theater, so it doesn't matter. But everybody, $180 million worth of people went to see Wakanda forever. And that makes my heart real happy. Um, 
because I okay. think it's going to be a, a really great film. And certainly um, watching Black Panther, uh, we covered that last week in in our uh, Drink the Movies regular episode. Um, we're going to be covering Wakanda Forever in our Patreon site. So if you haven't, uh, if you've been on the fence, as a lot of you have been, I'm sure, wondering what is it really going to be all that great? Is it is it going to have extra stuff? This is uh, one of the things that we are going to be covering in our Patreon site. So join us. Uh, join us. It'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait to talk about all things Wakanda Forever. Yeah, that's right. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Uh, like you said, Michaela, $180 million this week, which is good enough to move it all the way up to ninth place uh, for the year already. It's going to uh, do gangbusters here over the next couple of weeks. And everything that I saw online is pretty positive about it. So I'm um, definitely looking forward to seeing it. Like I said, we are on our way in to see it. Uh, as of right now, you know, we're going to finish recording and get in the car and uh, go see it. We'll have to see what we can have in the, in the lobby bar. Maybe they'll have a fun Black Panther drink. I don't know. We'll find out for sure. But yeah, definitely going to be covering that on the Patreon. So uh, take a look at that if you're so inclined client is patreon.com slash drink the movies and uh, you can get all the info about that there but we do have some things coming out this week i wanted to hit on michaela you know everyone's yeah everyone's seen black panther except for us we're the last people to see it people are going to continue to see that but there's a couple other things coming out so uh we've got a movie called she said uh which is coming out um it is a kind of a, a biopic true story uh kind of think about the new york times reporters that broke the harvey weinstein uh story uh, looks really good. I saw a preview for it. I went and saw Tar over the weekend, uh, which is also very good. But a uh, preview for it looks really great. It's directed by Maria Schrader, and she is the director of um, – do you remember that uh, that docuseries, Unorthodox, from yeah. uh, a couple years ago that won the uh, – the prime the uh, emmy award for that yeah. uh, she was the one that directed that so she's directing uh this film called she said it looks like it's going to be uh really good really well acted really well done it look it looks good i'm very excited to uh to check this one out um and we've got a a couple other ones that are coming out one is going straight to streaming service uh and one is coming from a streaming service now michaela you told us about this first one a while ago when it was on amazon but now apparently you can go to the movie theater to see it hey Go to the movie theater to see it. It's called 13 Lives. Uh, this is the movie. There is a documentary that uh, covers the same story. And that is out. I believe you can get that on HBO. This is the actual movie. It starts Viggo Mortensen. Everything he makes, you should go see. It's really fun. Um, this is not going to be fun, I would say. But it's everything he does is very well done, I will say. Uh, 13 Lives is the true story of uh, 12 uh, boys and their coach that gets stuck in a cave in the middle of monsoon season it sounds mm -hmm. real bad it's real heart uh pal pal palpitating um and if i can't wait to see it because and i'm really glad it's going to be showing at the theaters because that means that it gets uh in the registry to be considered for the academy awards and we're getting to academy awards season i don't know if this is any good but the reviews look okay and mm -hmm. again, you know, Viggo Mortensen, again, I mean, gosh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just his, I love him from his Strider days. <laughs> so I'm going to definitely have to see this. Yeah, there you go. It has, uh, yeah, Viggo Mortensen, as you said, stars uh, Colin Farrell, Joel Edgerton. So uh, a lot of really uh, good ones there directed by Ron Howard. So uh, go check that one out or let us know if you watched it on Amazon Prime when it came came out a couple months back. Let us know if we need to uh, head out to the movie theater to see that. And then uh, we have one other thing coming out. This one is just going to a streaming service, HBO Max. Uh, that is a Christmas story, Christmas, which is a uh, a, a sequel about the uh, adult Ralphie. Uh, coming back to his childhood home. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. We're actually going to be, uh, here's a sneak preview. Uh, our Christmas movie uh, lineup is going to include a Christmas story. So maybe we'll have to do a Christmas story, uh, Christmas as an addendum to it. But that is coming out this week on HBO Max. Um, I haven't really watched any of the previews or anything for it, but Christmas story is pretty great. I hope there's a leg shaped lamp. I'm sure there will be uh, BB guns. There's going to be uh, 10,000 references to the first movie. I can almost guarantee it. Yeah, yeah. And Ralphie's not done anything else, I don't think, right? Like, other than did, the Christmas story? He did, like, that cameo in Elf when he played one of the elves. But that yep. I, th I think that's that's about it for uh, Peter Billingsley. <laughs> he's, he's just been he's been biding his time waiting to, <laughs> to come back uh, to, to hit us all in the face with the Christmas story Christmas. So, uh, yeah, check that out on HBO Max. Let us know um, if that's any good. But, you know, Michaela, for now, we better load up on some drinks. Uh, we better... Better uh, hit the restroom an extra time because this movie is long, uh, but we are on our way to, in to see Wakanda Forever. So grab those drinks and 
yeah, let's uh, we'll mix up a strawberry whiskey sour to take in with us. We can sneak one in. Yeah, I got extra strawberries in my pockets. We're going to make it happen. All right. And we will talk to everyone next time in the lobby bar.